Hi, thanks for watching. It's the Lipstick Gal. I just finished recording a whole video on makeup I bought for the packaging, and I will link that below and I'll put it in the cards as well. But I also didn't have, because it was getting really long, I didn't have time to get into the lip products I bought because they look so pretty or so adorable. So I thought I would do a dedicated lipsticks I bought because they were pretty and I, I had to have them. All right, so uh, I'm just gonna grab in here. These are in no particular order. I've always loved Marc Jacobs packaging. I love that it's magnetic closure. I love everything about it. This was from a couple of years ago. I don't know if they still make this specific line. This was their new nudes. They might, they might have different colors. And normally his packaging is black, unless it's limited edition or something. This came out in the nude packaging and I was like, beautiful, I need you, you belong to me. I must have 12 of these lip bullets, lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury. I love them, every single one. This is the one that I probably use the most. It's lost kind of its little notched, yeah. I love it. This is Pillow Talk. It's the matte revolution formula. And the matte formula is my favorite. Even though I don't really like matte lips, there are very few matte lipsticks that I'm like, yeah, I need that. That's great. The one I'm wearing today is one, but the packaging was like, yeah, whatever. But this, this is fantastic. Um, let me just, any YSL packaging. I have um, the ones that come in the straight but square uh, metal tubes. I have the Tattooage Couture, which is of the matte lip stains. Um, and these guys here, these are the oil and stick, the Rouge Voulipte Shine. They're beautiful. Every time I pull this out of my purse, I feel like a million bucks. And everybody's always like, ooh, what a pretty lipstick. Never fails, somebody always does that. Um, this is another one that I bought for the packaging. This is Dior. And it has, and my kids always try, I'm like, why can't I get it? I'm like, no, no pull a little knob. I love the packaging for this. I wish it was magnetic, but it has a nice satisfying click to it, but it's beautiful. This is from their Addict line, and this is in black tie. One of my favorite shades, beautiful packaging, but the product on the inside is just as good. And so far, every one of these I've mentioned, the product is just as good. All right, so this is from Guerlain. I wanted one of these forever because they have a mirror on the inside. Um, and it was like, yes. And then when you close the mirror and you put this in here, this little hinge here, you can see it on the side, hooks over the top and it keeps it all together. It's magnetic closure. I think these guys are 50 something or 60 ish bucks. I was like, really? Oh, do I really want one? And I did, I really wanted one. And this one here is Gladys. And I even love that there's no sticker on the back. It's all engraved. I mean, this feels heavier than like really weighty, silverware or a really weighty beautiful fountain pen. I mean, this is this is luxury to the max and I love it. The formula is also beautiful and since I love bright colors, I'm like, well, if I'm gonna buy one, I'm gonna buy one I'm gonna wear all the time and I do and I really like it. All right, other thing I bought for, and some people love this design and some people don't. I tend to be the one who loves it. It looks very retro, it looks very luxe. This is from Dior. And um, I love the shade too. It's a beautiful kind of a blackened plum. It's so gorgeous. And this is the Diorific Matte in Fascination in number 880. Not that you'll be able to see it. I'm not gonna even do that. But I mean, the packaging, I love it. It feels very high-end, luxurious, World War II to me. I could be wrong in that. Other one, I mean, I have, I must have, oh, I don't know, maybe 15. Not this exact color, but silver, gold, and kind of more of a platinum look. This is from Lipstick Queen. This is a $50 lipstick. This is the uh, Velvet Rope line. And this is the one that I use the most. It's like almost flat, almost a little nub. This is black tie. I mean, it is, it's matte. It's a beautiful cranberry red. It's not a red red. It's not an orange red. It's more on the, you know, bluey side of red, but it's gorgeous. And it's not something that, it calls attention to your lips in a really beautiful way. And it wears so, 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 so well. I love these. And the packaging, it's magnetic. I told you, I'm a sucker for the magnetic packaging. If only everything came that way. All right. Now these two are gonna come up at the same time because they're from Lancome. These are their uh, Juicy Shaker and their Matte Shaker. The fact that these are like little mini cocktail shakers. I mean, how cute is that? They have a million shades, not a million, but quite a few. And it's a sponge tip applicator. 
I really shouldn't be doing this because it's going to mess up the lipstick I have on right now, which is matte. But I love it. So one is a lip, a tinted lip oil, and the other one is matte. And they both have the same sort of applicator. But some people find that they're not very precise. I don't have a problem with it. But I also can go without lining my lips. I'll just throw something on. And these are fantastic. I love them. Summertime, fall and winter. That's how I use them. I'll probably still wear this in the summertime because it's a great color, but truthfully, and I love that you can tell based on the cap color what's matte and what's not. All right, almost done here. This is going to be a shorty bit of goodie. This is, and I don't have any, and I, I should have, um, this is the Makeup Forever Artist Rouge Matte, but it's a special limited edition Christmas packaging. I think it was two years ago. 2016 yeah I think that's what it was but all of these brush strokes is it supposed to spell something maybe it is and I'm just now realizing that do you do you have one of these and it's one of their like beautiful bright red shades and this packaging only came in this color and they already sell this color it's m400 it's 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 a matte it's beautiful, very comfortable, but I love that it had kind of that metallic and that brushed metal red over the top. I really love that. All right. These, when I saw them, I was like, I have to. I have to. I have three of these, and they are the Pat McGrath. I have both the matte, what is this, matte trance, and I have the, what's the other one? Matte Lux? I forget what it's called. Um, but this is one of the matte ones. This one's in Omi as in Naomi Campbell, but Omi, O-M-I. Beautiful, fabulous. Really, when it comes to matte lipsticks, if I'm gonna wear a matte, I'm gonna wear a bullet matte lipstick and not a liquid matte lipstick, with rare exception. This one wears well, not dehydrating. Wears well, not dehydrating. Wears well, not dehydrating. Wears well, not dehydrating. You see my trend here? All right, and the last two are more on the cutesy end of things. This is the Sweet Peach Collection from Too Faced, and this is what drew me in. That adorable little peach on the top. Every single one of these lip glosses comes with this little, I have two of these. I'm shaking the whole thing. Stop, sorry. I didn't mean to shake you. But I really, really thought this was like super cute. And I wear stuff like this a lot during the summertime because it is so glossy and so pretty and a, a vibrant color. I love vibrant color. I don't wear as much vibrant color on my eyes, but my lips are fair game for anything. And the last one, I love this. And I used to, like these used to be just for me, but now my kids who are older, they're eight and 10, they raid my lipstick tray just for these guys. These are from Tony Moly, they're their bunny lip bar, uh, bunny gloss bar. Sorry, petite bunny gloss bar. Super cute. Um, they, they twist up there. So it's right here. It's very sheer. It's glossy. I love that. And they're very easy to wear. Oh, something stuck in this one. That's because I, okay. I mix all my, I cocktail everything together. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this in the center. Very rarely do I wear just one lipstick. And I've been doing that since I started wearing lipsticks at 14. And even before I knew it was a trend, I've been doing that my whole life. But how cute is that? And I was worried that these were just going to be cute, but they're hydrating. They've got really cute but subtle colors. I don't feel bad letting my kids wear this. And I'm one of those people, but I want them to be a certain age before they can wear makeup. And I'm like, I'll let you have one of these. I'll get you one of these for your Christmas stocking or something. Anyway, so those are my favorite. I bought them for the packaging lipsticks. Hey, thanks for watching. Let me know, is there a lipstick that you bought because it looks so pretty and not because it performs so well? Thankfully, everything here that I've showed you, I love. I love. And I wouldn't ever be like, oh, I got this just for the packaging, but the product itself is bleh. No, I like every single one. I do have some of those lipsticks, and maybe I should do another video like that. Let me know if you'd like to see something like that. And tell me, is there a lipstick that you bought because it was just too pretty and you had to have it? I'd love to know. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.